It's Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, the puppets. Uh, the Bob and Tom puppets. So that we have a little seasonal puppet theater here for you. Yeah. Uh, which we'd like to debut now. And this will be, we'll post this on all our social media in just a few minutes. Hot but, dog. Uh, here's the latest from the Bob and Tom puppets. The Bob and Tom Show now presents <laughs> Cliff Notes Theater. Condensed presentations of timeless classics. Oh. Today's story, Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol. <laughs> oh. All right, you workers. It's Christmas. Now get back to work. <laughs> <sighs> I'm sleepy. I'm going to bed. Hey, Scrooge, I'm a ghost. You need to change. Okay, I learned my lesson. Here's a turkey. <laughs> This has been Cliff Notes Theatre. When you just don't have time to watch yeah. the whole movie. <laughs> I think Donnie Baker made a case. Yeah, he did. did at the beginning. Yeah. The, Don, sure. the Donnie Baker puppet. Very nice. My favorite line is, I learned my lesson. Here's a turkey. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's, it's, it's Cliff Notes. It's, 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 yeah, it's, it's very short. Well, that was wonderful. You get, you get to see the, the essence of the, of the nice story. Nice job, Noah. <laughs> yeah, uh, you thank you, to. Noah. <laughs> Neymar scored a goal in his return from injury, and Brazil beat South Korea 4-1. to one. Neymar means no mistakes. Oh. Neymar. <laughs> Neymar. Does that mean no lake? Yeah, uh, it could be no sea. Yeah. No, no table. No water. No. No. In my, in, my, in my world, it means no, no. care. Oh. <laughs> Again, I'm not going to pretend I care about the world. Uh, and Brazil, of course, they're, uh, they're uh, something in the world uh, soccer scene. Boy, they are very good. And the 82-year-old Pele, who played for Brazil, said he was going to watch the match on TV while hospitalized in Brazil to treat a respiratory infection. Get out of that country. But um, Pele was not up to oh, watching the game yeah, on TV. It's... You think Pele's ever fished at a pay lake? <laughs> Mm -hmm. hey, look, there's Pele at that Pele. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you think he gets excited about Pele? Your thoughts? Well, I, yeah. I, I, I doubt he goes. Oh, hmm. okay. Huh. And Croatia. You know, you, you call somebody who's from Croatia a what Croat. Do you call him? A Croat. Oh, it's not a Croat. Oh my gosh, there is a story here of Pele at a Pele. <laughs> He got into a big fight with people. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, melee? Pele caused a melee at the Pele. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh no. Here we go. It's a little funny if it hadn't been uh, robbed from me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Mr. Oak. <laughs> Mr. What? <laughs> no, nothing. You know who his fishing buddy is? <laughs> Bobo. <laughs> Bobo and Pele at the Pele? Bobo and Pele at the Pele. Okay. Next, next. <laughs> Bobo. Bobo and Pele are just friends. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. He doesn't love... <laughs> Croatia going deep in another World Cup. The team's taking the longer out once again. Croatia goalkeeper Dominic Lick uh, <laughs> Lick Camel. Take your time. Liv Livakovic saved three penalty kicks, 3 1 win over Japan in a shootout. Pew, pew. <laughs> I haven't wanted to do that for the whole World Cup. And uh, TikTok star, here we go. Uh, National Parks officials have fined a TikTok influencer for hitting a golf ball and tossing a golf ball into the Grand Canyon. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. I, I get the urge. The I do. official Instagram, I shot a potato gun into uh, Grand Coulee Dam one time. <laughs> What are they, Lake Mead? That's what I was, really? I was out in Vegas. We got really? drunk, went out to the desert and shot up. That had to have been fun. Oh, See, that's the greatest time ever. Material. You know why it was great? Why was it great? Tom was not there. <laughs> oh, had not met Tom yet. Had they not... um, <laughs> did not find this person enough. Why, for hitting a golf ball into the Grand Canyon? Okay, all right. Go down there and clean that up. They should have thrown her in. Hmm. That would be a really cool punishment to make him go find the ball. Make Wait, him was it a woman or a... it's a lady? Oh, so she hit from the uh, lady. Oh, she's piece? a, a so-called influencer. Oh boy, I'm an influencer. I'd like to influence. Yeah, go down and get the ball, bitch. <laughs> makes... That's funny. That should be the punishment. She has to go find it. Yeah, yeah. you know what she should have to do find your ball, play is go it find out. the ball. That's what she needs to do. <laughs> they, they only find her. A couple Did you say that earlier? I no, said it earlier. Said it earlier. Oh, I'm sorry. Willie. I'm not going to come in till eight anymore. I'm done with this. I don't blame you. Oh, wow, win-win. The official. 
official Instagram. <laughs> Don't listen to him. Uh, the woman posted a video to her personal TikTok uh, showing her hitting a golf ball and throwing a golf club into the canyon near... Through the club, too! Mather Point. <laughs> No, you don't want this. Through the club. Through the club. Well, oh, Tom no. threw clubs into a lake one time. Yeah, but they were his clubs. And it wasn't a national monument. Right. No, no. I'm telling you, make her go down on a donkey. Last time I threw a club, it was at a deli because they didn't put mayonnaise on it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. The opposite. Tom says the, the, the punishment for this woman, she has to go down on a donkey. No, no, I'm sorry. I, no, wait a minute. Go down oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Well, that's I, was, I, was, I was interrupted. <laughs> make, make her go down into the canyon on a donkey. You uh, like that yes, the club. said, though. You hear her in a donkey. You'd really no, like that. I was interrupted by Josh's fine joke about throwing a club sandwich. Uh-huh. <laughs> now, that's a donkey show. <laughs> No, she should go down on a, on a donkey. Wait a minute. Go she down the go canyon. She should go down in the canyon on a donkey and get the golf ball. I don't care where I she say no donkey. Make her walk. walk. Yeah, make her as walk. As long as we get pictures of it. Right? <sighs> so now she's getting tons of publicity for paying a small fine. Right. Yeah, I don't know how people find out about her. <laughs> the Arizona Republic newspaper identified the accused influencer as 20-year-old Katie Sigmund. Well, we didn't have to say her name. Park officials. Oh. Park officials became aware of the viral uh, Grand Canyon law enforcement identified and contacted the woman to hand her three violation notices. Let me look up this chick who's just having a good time. She was cited for disorderly <laughs> conduct really? and tossing or throwing items into the canyon, which carry a maximum <laughs> fine of $5,000. She could have killed somebody. And six months in prison. She's, uh, you know what? Who's I'm, down at the bottom of the canyon? Scorpions. I'm looking at pictures of her. <laughs> All is forgiven. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> What? Really? He'd like to watch her go down on a donkey? Oh, oh. What we need right now is a palate cleanser. Yeah, we do. Yeah, the best palate cleanser that I know, ladies and gentlemen, is? comes from that corner of the room. Of course, I'm talking about, uh, well, uh, ladies, do you mind? Who's that yeah. sexy man with a deep voice? Ace Cosby. Joke of the day. I've been watching a lot of classic movies the past few weeks. Oh, good, oh. good. Do you know what uh, the movies Titanic and The Sixth Sense have in common? No, what? what? I see dead people. I see that dead people. <laughs> That's strong. That's good. It may be in the Mount Rushmore of so, jokes of the day. So I you, see dead people. I see no, no. dead people. He's taken the, uh, the way up high template, <laughs> and now he's... Okay. <laughs> Very good. Thank you, Ace. Well, now it's time to discuss sexy time. Researchers have compiled a list of what various sex noises might say about your relationship. Um, some of the sex noises they took a look at, heavy breathing, yeah, moaning, mm-hmm. high-pitched tones. How about, sh- <laughs> <laughs> How about screaming, help me? Screaming and shouting is in oh, the list. Sorry, right? yeah. All sounds of me climbing the stairs. Moaning, a third of both men and women find moaning sexy. However, psychologist Barbara Santini said fake moaning can be an indication that one partner wants the other to orgasm more quickly and end the session. There's the one where she's looking at her watch. Oh, uh-huh. Josh, you're the best. Uh, uh, 66% Oh, you're a clock watcher? No tip. <laughs> no tip. 66% of women admitted to exaggerating their moans to speed up a partner's orgasm. That yeah. is a, that's one of the biggest turnoffs to me. That does the opposite to me, ladies. How do you know that they're oh, doing it? Oh, I know. It? <laughs> you know, because he's still in the bathroom brushing his teeth. <laughs> hey, hey, chocolate, calm down. I can't chocolate? possibly There's sleep. There's a lot happening in this scenario. <laughs> chocolate is beautiful and very good, and I will not have you besmirch her. It's a reference to the movie uh, Birdcage. <clears throat> uh huh. No. Still doesn't stay, make it right. Stay topical. Women making noise in bed had positive effects on male self esteem and may, quote, help strengthen the bond and decrease the risk of emotional infidelity and abandonment. <laughs> Please Can we have to talk me. about abandonment Please right there today. <laughs> Is there a reason you chuckled through abandonment? <laughs> Good God. Christy's having the time of her life. Oh, they, wow. they call her the praying mantis. What a Hi. Christy, uh, she, you Man. make love to me and then I bite your head off. <laughs> there are no male uh, beings who, who bite the heads off the females, are there? I don't think. Mm. It's just the praying mantis. Oh, right? man, that's right. And did and you know that the, the praying mantis, once the male's head is off, it continues to... Yeah, she does. <laughs> oh, yeah. It continues to hump. Oh, yeah. Just reflexively. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I had a girl Isn't like that. Isn't that rough? No males do that. Only the female. You had what? A girl like that in college. When I was... She would just keep... The, and you just had to... 
okay, you know? <laughs> what? What? for the party. And you broke up with this woman? Hang <laughs> <laughs> on. Uh, the singer? I kind of liked it. She was in me, charge. I'd oh, cry yeah. a little bit. It was cool. Let me get this straight. It's kind of the... Was <laughs> 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 that, was that like, the noise she made? They're doing the, like, the... the it's like, it looks like an ab machine. Uh-huh. Wait a minute. This sounds like a Mr. Obvious episode. You sure that wasn't the garbage disposal? Right there by the same. 82% of heterosexual women said they were more vocal during sex than their male partners. Yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah. I see that. Do you think that's correct? Yeah. I mean, not, I never stop talking. I'm in there. I'm doing ad reads for Hello Fresh while I'm with the lady. You know? <laughs> oh. I can't shut up. That's all right. Most women and men. You know, one of my <laughs> favorites is the. <laughs> the way that you uh, uh, hang on a second. There's the chicken taco. Whoa. Read that stat again. Eighty-two. What is it? Eighty-two percent of heterosexual women said they were more vocal during sex than their male partners. Now, not to be personal here, but what, what do you think of that stat? Do you think that's correct? I think it's probably correct. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know I, me, I like a uh, like a, a little league baseball game. But are you doing the talking or is she doing the talking? I'll jump in. I'll okay. jump in every now and then. All right. I'll add a little something. Yeah. Now, do you jump in with your announcer voice? No. <laughs> yes, uh-huh, because that's my real real voice that I use everywhere. <laughs> this voice, I use that all the time. I don't know anyone like that. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> you look directly at you, Ace. I don't know what's going on. I Does talk like this all the time. <laughs> Hang on a second. Yes, Ace. Does it feel good? There it is. Does it feel good? <laughs> does it? We've got the weather. Said, does it? The weather coming in 10 minutes. Uh, As for me, I think it may be about two. Most women and men said they were more vocal at the start of a sexual relationship. Well, you're more of everything at the start. Mm -hmm. Come on. Hey, let's face it. You're selling a product, right? You're Is that what there. you're doing? You're making sales. That's right. You got to put numbers up, right, Tom? <laughs> sure. Yeah. Sure. 21 times a month, apparently. And, and Christy, Boy, I'll, thanks I'll, a lot for that, I'll, by the way. I'll, I'll save this one for you. If you're making no noise, you know what it means. <laughs> you're asleep? <laughs> no, there are kids in the next room. Oh. Yeah, I didn't have to deal with that. That was the best part about getting divorced. <laughs> yeah. I get, really? Yeah, because you'd ever have the weekend off. Yeah. Or I get noisier when or... I know that there are kids in the other Oh, you do not. Guess what I'm doing to your mom? <laughs> <laughs> oh, patrol can't save you now, can they? Yeah. <laughs> no, we, I don't remember. Yeah, my kids were too little when we got divorced, so I never had that issue, really. Yeah, you got to keep quiet because yeah. it's really good. <laughs> Good uh, intimacy sounds like you're wearing flip flops in a swamp. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Ooh. Yes. Yes. that is kind of. Um, we're going to hook up with uh, the legendary Mr. Skin on the big screen in a matter of moments. He, of course, is the authoritative voice of nudity in first run cinema. Nipples um, and butt cheeks and boobies <laughs> and wieners. <laughs> <laughs> These are a few of my favorite dogs. Uh, Wait a minute. Oh. <laughs> it's primarily uh, the, 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 uh, the the naked uh, uh, ladies that we are talking about. And, oh, there's Mr. Skin on the big screen right there. Um, Mr. Skin. Uh, hey, everyone. Uh, reporting, reporting from uh, uh, Chicago, not wearing a White Sox cap for a change. Uh, right, I, I didn't. Uh, I didn't feel it was appropriate after the season they just had. Uh, so. <laughs> and you're you're a man of branding. You know branding because honestly, you should be a honorary, at the very least, honorary doctor skin. But you have <laughs> you've stuck with Mister Skin. Yeah. After all this time, I was going to tell you guys. I don't know if you know this, but um, this is my twenty fourth top 10 nude scenes of the year oh, and wow. it, it just struck me like how is how do you have a life where you're 24 years into the <laughs> 10 best nude scenes of the year it's just it's incredible people weren't even born when i started this, so. <laughs> some of them may have been That's born right. during sure. some of the scenes right. no? oh sure yeah. born because you started discussing yeah. uh, you're mr. responsible <laughs> mr skin I mean, not many of us can have our work referenced in a famous movie and have it actually be part of the plot of a famous movie do you want to explain what i'm talking about mr skin yeah, well, um, the movie Knocked Up, which was a huge blockbuster uh, comedy in 2007, uh, featured uh, Mr. Skin in it because um, uh, Judd Apatow um, knew about my website. He was trying to think of, uh, for the lead character, Seth Rogen, how could he have a job that is 
kind of fun, but incredibly embarrassing and awkward. And he thought of what I did for a living and he based his job on my thing. But uh, in the end, uh, they do a great promotion of MrSkin.com in there. And I, I've always felt it's the uh, it's the equivalent to the uh, product placement of ET uh, with Reese's Pieces. So, <laughs> yes. Did you indeed get a uh, get a uh, a hump, or I mean a bump? <laughs> yeah, we got a hump and a bump. It's been amazing. Well, I think too that like I think guys our age, um, you know, we're Animal House, Stripes, uh, Blues Brothers, whereas maybe the younger generation are into Knocked Up, 40-Year-Old Virgin. You know, those are their kind of comedies, and uh, that movie just plays on a loop, and it's just every time it plays, it's it's free promo. But even, I, I think this is even cooler. Um, two weeks ago, I started to get a ton of texts because um, Family Guy referenced Mr. Skin for the third time time and i just thought that was uh something that i think i'm even more proud of that than even the knocked up <laughs> yes wow. yes uh we're speaking with mr skin and uh mr skin once again um the authority on uh, nudity and uh, in I, I was going to say first run cinema but these days it's a whole different ball game because of the uh, high quality of uh, of television. Oh yeah, and it's I mean, yeah. It's, when I when I started my my first top ten list in nineteen ninety nine, you know, The Sopranos had just started. Um, there really wasn't a lot of television that people watched that had nudity. Um, now it's gosh, there's hundreds of shows. I don't have to explain to you guys all the different platforms and places you could see these shows. But yeah, uh, over time. It, it's gotten to the point where there's just so much nudity. Put, narrowing things down to 10 is very difficult work. I don't want you guys to feel sorry for me, but it is, uh, it is not easy to narrow it down to 10, you know? Uh -huh. oh, wow. Uh, well, uh, you know, the category that you want to promote today is called what? Well, it's just my top 10 nude scenes of 2022. And uh, um, this is only female nudes. Uh, sorry, Christy, this is uh, just female nudes, but it's... Uh, That's okay. It's I got an eye full on White Lotus the other night. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. That yeah. White Lotus. Yeah, wow. it's funny you bring that up because number eight on my list is... Um, you know, the, the woman that plays one of the prostitutes, sure. uh, the Italian with the dark hair, her name is, uh, Tom, you'll love this name, the greatest name I've ever heard of an actress. Her name's Simona Tabasco. Wow. That's, her real name. <laughs> That's not her character name. And she, in the, um, in the fifth episode, she has a sex scene, which made number uh, eight on my top 10 list. And I got to tell you that White Lotus um, is a, it's a very popular show on uh, HBO, but as Christy said, there's something for men mm -hmm. because there's a lot of female nudity. But boy, is there a lot for women! Mm -hmm. Guys are just <laughs> full frontal. They don't. It's pretty crazy. Oh it's pretty yeah. Crazy. Are they angry? Yeah. Uh, or just dangling. <laughs> no, it was flaccid, uh, it was, but it was it having was a impressive. real good time. Uh, yeah, yeah I, was, I read about this oddly the other day. Evidently, oh, that was very much a prosthetic. I guess mm -hmm. the actor who said, "Yeah, that's not him." Oh, don't ruin this. For well, me. I'm just telling you. He was no, he was on Fallon a week ago, and they talked about the yeah. prosthetic. But honestly, oh, but he's going to be super attractive, just ripped, a great actor, and have a hang down. Yeah, well. same some hang down for the rest of us, pal. <laughs> Is yeah. he a famous actor? Uh, not super not famous, yet. but you might recognize him. D I have a technical Lewis question. Gossett Jr.? Maybe, no. Mr. <laughs> Maybe Mr. Skin knows this. When they have a prosthetic, do they attach it to the real one? Or is it, does it... Oh, does it slip over? <laughs> is it a... Yeah, is yeah, it... I'm, I'm not 100% sure of that. Well, when well, I, I wear I mine... I, yeah. I, oh. <laughs> but I will, say a, I will say a funny thing that, guys, I find this... Whenever you see a full frontal and it's really huge, all us guys think it has to be a prosthetic. Yep. You know? We can't think that that's real. Well, that's famously true. in um, Boogie Nights, that's fake. Oh, well, that one. Yeah. 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 Dirt, yeah. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Sure. yeah. But uh, in real life, I guess Joe DiMaggio. As a baseball fan, you should know this. Oh, here we go. Mr. Skin, are you aware of the famous uh, Pete Rose, Joe DiMaggio situation? No, I want to hear it. I oh, really? Oh, you should, you should, well, I don't want to. You should Google it. It involves Mr. Rose okay. actually actually helping Mr. DiMaggio in of all places in Vietnam on a USO tour. <laughs> well, how can you not tell the story? <laughs> You're just telling. Well, just, uh, the brief version is, and uh, Mr. Rose had a chance to see uh, DiMaggio in all his glory, and uh, apparently, it, it, it not much can stun Pete Rose. Not a fastball, but <laughs> this this stunned him. Apparently, wow. Okay. Uh, I'm I'm writing notes right now. I will as soon as I'm done. I'm Google. 
England. Well, let's just do a quick review of your top ten, Mr. Skin. Yeah. Sure, I'll just maybe cherry pick a few for you sure. guys. Um, by the way, we just launched this, uh, so it's kind of hot off the press here at MrSkin.com. It's totally free if you guys, anyone wants to check this list out. But um, for instance, like um, uh, number 10 is, uh, is you, you guys know that show Euphoria from HBO. Mm -hmm. sure. You've at least heard about it. Um, Sydney Sweeney, who in past years was our number one, uh, is number 10 here, and uh, she's laying completely nude on a bearskin rug in the second episode of season two. And um, she is really a, a gorgeous actress. She's become very popular, especially in social media circles. And uh, she's she's number 10 on our list. I told you guys number eight. I wanted to get to number five because I think you guys would know her. Um, remember that Netflix show Queen's Gambit, the oh, chess yeah. show? Sure. sure. Yes. About? Yeah, of course. Well, um, Anya Taylor Joy wins uh, number five spot in a movie called The Northman, which is a Viking movie That's with Alexander Skarsgård. Yeah, I love and, that movie. Um, yeah. Well, an hour and 47 minutes in. Now, she became really famous on because of Queen's Gambit because it was during uh, the, the COVID lockdown and mm -hmm. everyone was watching all the Netflix shows and all that. And Queen's Gambit just hit at the perfect time. And uh, she hadn't done a nude scene. And in this movie, the Viking, Alexander Skarsgård's in a, like a, you know, like in a hot spring. She walks in completely uh, naked. And um, it really is a, a an amazing scene. Uh, you will become a North man when you see that. <laughs> uh, incredible. Uh, it's, it's an incredible nude scene, but it came in at number five on our list. So. Mm. Uh, uh, Mr. Skin yeah. is our guest. Uh, once again, um, uh, he is uh, the authority on nudity, and and, and it used to be first run cinema, but now it's just high quality. Uh, this is this is not pornography. It's just uh, uh, dramas and et cetera. No, well, and yeah, and you know what? The shows, television shows now are just so good that um, it's almost like watching a movie when you're watching a television show. That's how well. Uh, you know, how well done they are. Like uh, number three on our top 10 nude scenes of the year is this show that's become really popular on Hulu called Tell Me Lies. And it's it stars Grace Van Patten. And she it's a real cool concept. She's a freshman in college and she meets like this popular guy at school. And it's about the eight year relationship that they have. And in the ninth episode, they have a sex scene that is so amazing um uh, it made our it made number three but it is just just fantastic tom you will love this one but um you know what here's an interesting trivia she's the niece of dick van patten oh and, ah. wow and even it better a little, more, enough. <laughs> a little more obscure if you guys remember the white shadow with ken howard sure. oh, yeah. oh yeah the basketball she's, thing right yeah, remember Salami on the team? That's her. Salami's daughter is Grace Van Patten, so it's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. What was the show Dick Van Patten was on? Eight is enough. Eight wow. is enough. Yeah. I, yeah. I just wanted to underscore that. Uh -huh, yeah. And eight, eight, and eight, eight apparently was what she got. Mm, eight was enough. <laughs> entangled it. Uh, Mr. Skin, we got to go. So just uh, if you want to see this, once again, it's MrSkin.com. And uh, as always, it's a great pleasure. I hope your White Sox do better. And when you get off, yeah. uh, get off the phone, Google. Uh, Google uh, Pete Rose and Joe DiMaggio uh, yes. as, as a baseball player. And uh, I'll probably player. see eight is enough again. So yeah. There you go. <laughs> Terrific work and important work. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Scott. Happy uh, holidays. Yeah, eight is enough. That would be the shortstop. Apparently, DiMaggio is out there. <laughs> Hitting a <Deep>. 12. <laughs> Tom's obsessed. Uh, thanks. Thanks. Thanks, Mr. Scott. Thanks, Skin. guys. Bye. Oh, man. Hey, man, this is Donnie Baker. If you just like that video, then do your part. Like and subscribe. You have to, it's state law.